Welcome back to Channel On. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the belt on your 10 inch bandsaw. As you may have seen in one of my other videos, I uh, had to finish the project with a jigsaw because the belt had gone on it. So uh, I ordered it, it's in. So let's go ahead and get started. For most of these bandsaws are pretty much the same thing. So uh, down at the bottom of your bandsaw, you're going to have a motor and then you're going to have the belt that connects onto it. So you can see the belt here, it's all shredded. So we're going to need to remove uh, this wheel here. But before we do that, we need to loosen up the, uh, the blade so we can. Uh, to pull this wheel off. Well, mine here, all you're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and open these ones as well. I'm um, going to go ahead and you're going to loosen up that blade, okay, until it's loose just like that, so it falls off. All right, so now that the blade is loose, we got to go ahead and remove this wheel. So you're going to need a pair of snap ring pliers, and all you need to do is remove that snap ring and don't lose it. Go like that, pull that off like that. And set that off to the side, and you should be able to pull that wheel right off there, just like that. And once you've done that, you can go ahead and you can inspect the old belt. As you can see, it's been on there for quite some time. I'm going to say in the early 2000s when I bought this machine. All right, so in the package, we should have received a couple of belts. Here we go. And I'm going to go ahead and put it on here first. And I'm just going to kind of slide that on there. Like that. Go ahead and take your snap ring. Like that. Pop it on. There it is. Now we, what we need to do is put it on. Now that belt must be just a little bit bigger because I can see that the uh, motor, I'm going to have to loosen up that motor. So it says it's the same belt, but who knows? Who knows why that's so loose? But I'm going to go ahead now and we're going to go on the back side of the motor and loosen so it up. On the back side, you're going to need a 6 millimeter uh, hex socket. I'm going to go ahead and loosen up that motor. that one and now we should be able to move that motor up and down a little bit all right so now what we should be able to do is tighten that up like that perfect now I don't want that real tight I want it just snug go ahead and tighten that back up All right, so go ahead and put your blade back on. Make sure it's lined up on both wheels and then start snugging it up. Quick little test run. I'm back up and running so I'll put a link down below and where I got this belt as you can see there's not a whole lot to it just gonna make sure that you have a uh, hex socket six millimeter and a pair of snap ring pliers so I hope this helps you with your craftsman 10 inch bandsaw and stay tuned for the next one